Welcome to the Inventory Now Items tab. This tab gives you a high level view of your inventory. By using the status filter bar up top, we can cycle between what we have for sale, what we need to ship out, and what we sold in the past. There's a search bar located at the top of the screen to further search through our items. This will search not just item names, but also categories, subcategories, locations, and even notes. At the bottom is a filter bar that lets us filter our list to different categories, dates, etc., and we can even change how our items are sorted. Note that a given status on the status bar will only appear if there are items applicable for that status. You can easily add stock to your items by selecting the item, pressing buy, and entering the quantity and cost. Unit costs help to auto-calculate these values for you. Selling items is just as easy. We can go to the For Sale tab to find our item, enter the number we sold, and how much money we received. If you ship your items, you can view the items you need to ship, select one, and enter the quantity you shipped. After all purchase stock has been sold and shipped, with the autocomplete feature enabled, it will be moved to the Complete tab until you buy more. Adding new items is quick and simple. Just tap the plus button and enter your item details. Items can also be added by scanning its barcode with the built-in camera. Press the barcode button and scan away. A third-party service is used to try to match your barcode to a product, and if product information can be found, it'll get added automatically. After a product is added by barcode, just scan it again, and it'll open the item right back up. If you use a hardware barcode scanner, no problem. Just place your cursor in the search bar and scan your code, and the app will handle it just like it did from the camera. When editing an item, you can enter several fields to identify it. You have a category, a subcategory, a location, a date, and unit buy and sell costs. You can also enter a barcode and a SKU, which you can generate in-app automatically and even send to your camera roll or Dropbox to print. A freeform notes field is available for anything else. You can even add extra barcodes. We can create groups of items by naming them the exact same thing, but giving them different categories, subcategories, or locations. When an item has other items like it, you'll be able to click to view a summary of those items and even filter or view a specific one. You can drag and drop to move available stock from one related item to another, allowing you to move products between locations easily. To add a new location, just edit an existing item and tap Add Similar Item. Then set the location, tap view similar items, and drag the quantity from your old location to the new one. The low stock status filter allows you to view any items whose stock is dipped below a given threshold which is set in your settings. You can even receive push notifications when an item moves into low stock. Orders get created automatically when you buy or sell an item with the action bar on the item details screen. But note that orders do not get created when you add or edit counts directly. Orders allow you to track individual purchases and sales. You can see when an order occurred and which user created it. You can even add notes to track customer or shipping information. Completing an order allows you to automatically advance that inventory to ship to receive status. And canceling an order allows you to restock that inventory. From the Orders tab, you can use the search bar to search by item, or you can even scan the barcode of the item. You can further filter your order by item categories or location, or by the order date, or even the user that created it. And you can even export those orders in spreadsheet format to compile your own reports. You can create more complex orders by following your normal selling workflow, but use the Add to Cart button instead of the Save button when selling. That will add your item to a cart and you can continue to add as many items as you'd like and then check out when you're ready. Custom orders allow you to add fees, taxes, and discounts, and even check out with PayPal here 
or square point of sale. When you're done, your order appears in the Orders tab as normal. The Summary tab gives you an overall summary view of your current stock and provides stats on your revenue and profits. Note that the top section is specific to your item records and the orders are specific to the orders, which don't reflect initial inventory added or custom edits, so these numbers won't always match. You can filter the items in your summary and even export to a spreadsheet. Your settings tab provides you with tons of options to customize inventory now for your business. One of the most important is your product lifecycle. Buying and selling your items is always enabled but you can choose if you want to mark items received after you buy them or shipped and then delivered after you sell them. Once these statuses are enabled, just use the Mark As button at the bottom of the item view screen to tell the app how many you've received, shipped, or delivered. Some users may prefer to just check out and check in items instead of marking them as sold. That option is here and will work only slightly different than the normal buy and sell flow. Note that when completing a checkout order, it will check the items back in for you. For users that are using Inventory Now as a point of sale system, you will likely want to use the register mode and prefer checkout options. Prefer checkout will make the add to cart button more prominent when selling. In register mode, will temporarily tailor the app to act more like a point of sale, hiding your item costs and allowing you to move more quickly through the sales flow. When you're done with point of sale mode, just turn it back off in your settings. The manage categories option allows you to move all of your items from one category into another one. The category, subcategory, and location fields can be renamed to whatever you prefer to call them, and you can even remove the subcategory field if you don't want to use it. Inventory now uses the currency set in your phone's location settings, and you can change it at any time. Note that changing currencies doesn't cause any conversions to occur, it only changes how it's displayed. The data sets feature allows you to create completely different silos of inventory data. You can easily add new data sets, switch between them, and you can move all items from one data set to another. Linking to Dropbox provides you with a simple way to import and export your inventory data, and you can enable an auto backup feature that exports to Dropbox every time you close the app or you can import and export directly through email. When importing, make sure you follow the file format very carefully. You can create a sample item and export it to view the format and then add your new items. A user-friendly PDF export is also available. There are a few other import-export functions, such as the ability to export and import item images with Dropbox. The reconcile import-export function gives you a way to reconcile your inventory. Just create an export file template and then edit that file on your computer to add the counts you take of your actual physical inventory. When you import the reconciliation file back, it will adjust your item counts and add losses to any items as necessary. It will even export a reconciliation report to Dropbox. Auto backups are taken and saved every time you quit the app or when you do something that's potentially destructive. If you lose your data somehow, just come back here and restore your backup file. If you need to clear up some of your data, you have several options. You can choose to clear out just your completed inventory, which will reset the counts and costs and revenues of all completed items back to zero, and even send a report to Dropbox with the counts that were removed. You can also choose to delete the data off of your phone or delete all the data on your account and start fresh. If you want to access your data from your computer, or from an Android phone, Pro users have access to our web application that you can view by signing into inventorynow.app. If you're a team, you can invite other users into your team to help you manage your data. Just enter their name and email and choose their access level and an invite link will be sent to them via email.
you can give them full access, restricted access, which allows them to do anything except review costs. You can make them a register mode only user or give them read only access. After you've taken inventory now for a test drive, get set up with a subscription to unlock the full power of the app. Just click the top row on the settings tab and choose the subscription that's right for you. Both allow you to add in unlimited items, but the pro subscription is intended for power users and organizations. You can subscribe monthly or yearly for a large discount. After you select a subscription, set a username and a password, and you'll be all set. Now get out there and take control of your inventory before it takes control of you. That's deep.